Hello! This video is all about kindergarten guided math. I want to share what I have for kindergarten teachers <coughs> and um, how I use it. So the units here, these two units are the same. This is unit one from the guided math bundle or resource. It's one out of nine units and um, these are two different ways to organize it. Obviously this version is not going to have all of the pieces and parts ready to teach, but rather they're inside. Anytime I have a color page, I also have the black and white version, so you never have to feel like it needs to be color. There's probably four pages in the whole thing that are color, so don't, don't worry about that. But all of my lessons are here, all of my copies. This isn't really what I would teach from because I need my materials prepped and ready for teaching. So I'm going to show it to you in binder form where I have prepped the materials that go with each lesson. In order for the materials not to fall out of the binder, I would probably put them in baggies and put them in a tub with the binder, which I've shown before in a different video. But um, just so you can see this material goes with this lesson, I wanted to put them in the binder. This first page is just my pacing guide. Right now, units one through three are complete for kinder. Four and five will be done, um, actually four, five, and six will be done in July and August, and then September and October, I'll finish up seven, eight, and nine. So you will have the complete set finished by October, but you can already grab it now and start building your resources over the summer while you have time. I'm already three units ahead of the school year and I will continue to create as we go through the summer. These are my math warm-ups. I'm going to do this um, each day of the week during unit one. They're fun activities to have your kiddos do for a math warm-up that also reinforce counting, cardinality, and number sense. All right, so we jump right in, unit one, day one. Whenever you're ready to start your math instruction, then you are ready to go. Lesson plans, done. So you're gonna have your essential question here, your lesson objective, and this particular lesson objective is count a set of objects and demonstrate that the last number said tells the number of objects in the set. Then you're gonna have your whole group lesson and your discussion questions that go along with that whole group lesson. Any materials that you need, which I'm going to show you, are right here. And then this says small group lesson and guided practice. Because I'm not going to jump right into small group with my kindergarten kids, I'm going to use this section as a guided practice. I can do it in partners, I can do it in small group, I can have everyone doing it as I walk around. It kind of depends on the number of kids you have, how you have your table set up, and um, how long your math block is. So this is a more hands-on version of my whole group lesson for my kids to jump right in and get their practice. And then finally I wrap it up with an independent practice page for each lesson and um, some differentiation ideas at the bottom. So in this first lesson we're counting beans. So we're going to read from the bean book and then we're going to focus on the numbers 0 through 5. I have a 5 frame. And I would also have some lima beans or pinto beans for my kids. And they would be practicing counting those beans. And we would wrap it up with an independent practice page. So my students will be counting and coloring the number of boxes that represent the number of beans. And then from there we just continue. We do little mini dog bones. We um, also get into Forest Friends. Like I said, if anything is in color, it's also in black and white. For example, these little strips of animals, you can run them on colored paper. They're also in black and white. So each day's activity has my lesson plan with whole group, small group regarded practice, and independent practice. It comes with all the materials I need and um, everything to teach. And then I also threw in some extra practice sheets. These are great for math rotations, which I'm gonna talk about in a little bit. And they're also good for sending 
um, extra practice home for those that need it or for your homework. So there's actually a page for zero through five of this one. All right, and we just keep going. Lessons zero through, I'm sorry, one through 10 are gonna focus on the numbers zero through five. And then lessons 11 through 19 are gonna focus on the numbers six through 10. Once I get to uh, lesson 19, I'm reviewing, and then lesson 20 is actually a unit assessment that's gonna cover everything I've taught for that particular unit. So here we're still working on zero through five. And then we get to day 11. Day 11, we're going to uh, review zero through five, play a partner game, do an independent practice page. And now we're ready for numbers zero through 10. We're really gonna focus on six through 10 since we spent so much time on zero through five already. So again, anything that's in color is also going to be a black and white. Um, is there is going to be a version for you in black and white? And again, lots of extra independent practice pages for homework or for rotations that you might need. Now with our bean book on day 13, 14, we're going to be counting all the way up to 10. So this is exciting. They'll be getting 10 beans this time, not five, and we'll practice on. 10 frames and we just continue on from there this one is um, practicing counting up and back using a spinner to kind of excite us and let us jump to a number five and we can count up we can count back and then we can fill in our number writing practice counting up and back again black and white version don't worry students will practice counting numbers are counting objects in a set that are not in order. So we teach them the strategy of marking as they count so they know what they have counted and they can be successful. Then they will do guided practice where they count their own strips. And finally, they'll do a practice page where they count the number of objects and record that many colored boxes. And it continues on. This game we're gonna play 10 frame fill up, it's really fun. It's a partner game where students have to spin a spinner and fill up their side before their partner does. The trick about this game is that if I have nine um, on my 10 frame and I spin a two, I can't go, I have to get the one. So they have to fill it up exactly. And that really teaches them um, in the very beginning stages, it starts to teach them <clears throat> that nine and one make 10. All right, so once we get to unit, or lesson 19, where we're building numbers, writing them and drawing them, this is kind of our culminating lesson here, we're gonna do a lesson assessment for, for <clears throat> I'm sorry, we're gonna do a unit assessment for lesson 20. This is the first page of the assessment, zero through five, and this is the second page of the assessment. And so once students do that, then I'm ready to move on to unit two. I hope this helps kind of give you a peek into the kindergarten guided math lessons and what they are like. Now I want to show you what I do with my students after I teach this portion of my guided math block. I'm going to break out into math centers or stations for my students. This is called the Guided Math Bundle, and I'll put the link in the comments, but this bundle is called the Math Centers, Journals, and Printables. And so it's got all the activities I need to fill those rotations that I want to do after I teach my Guided Math lesson. So I've got different activities that go along with what I've already been teaching, but now they're fun partner games or their group games, or their individual practice that can be done in a group where students get to get hands-on with the materials and show what they know. The, you'll, you'll notice that there are similarities, so it does kind of mirror what's been happening in the guided math lessons, but this time um, it's a fun fall theme. So this is the August-September version, and then I have 
um, a version for each month. And for kindergarten, I'm already finished with all the way up to January and February is being worked on. So these will definitely all be finished um, before summer ends. And you'll be able to prep that and be completely set for your rotations. Another thing that I do in rotation is a journal. This could also be done whole group with my class as I'm teaching how to do it. But once my students are independent, then I can put these activities into a rotation. So you'll notice that these activities also go along with what I've been teaching in my guided math groups, um, guided math lessons. So they are different activities that reinforce what I've been teaching already. In that bundle, I will also put in the comments. If you have questions that I didn't answer, please let me know and I will be sure to answer them for you. Thank you.